In this section, we'll talk about various sense organs and their brief classification. So what exactly are sense organs? Sense organs or receptors, these are groups of specialized cells which are responsible for receiving different types of stimuli. Group of specialized cells which receive stimuli, various kinds of stimuli. They are received by these specialized cells. These specialized cells can be separate cells in the form of some structures or it could be a complete organ. We'll talk about all the organs later on. But before that, we need to have a brief uh, classification or understanding how many different types of receptors are there. Now, this classification that we are talking of was given by Sherrington. And according to this classification, all the receptors are divided into three categories. Receptors or sense organs are divided into three categories. They are written as external receptors. And as the name tells us, they help us in perception of external stimuli. So detect external stimuli. The second are called proprio receptors. They are normally in the tendons or the ligaments. And the third ones are known as interoreceptors. Interoreceptors. Interoreceptors means they would respond to internal stimuli. That means if some change take place inside the body, inside the organ, then these receptors are going to detect it. So let us take these external receptors first. First, phonoreceptors. Phonoreceptors. Phonoreceptor means they are the ones which are going to help us detect sound. So here we would be talking about ears. The complete structure, inner ear and all the structures, phonoreceptors. Then we have photoreceptors, which help us perceive the vision or the light part. Light or vision. So we would be talking about the structure and working of eye here. Third, gustatoreceptors. Gustatoreceptors help us in detection of chemicals by taste buds. So here we would be talking about tongue. So these are taste receptors. Then olfactoreceptors. They help us detect smell. So here we would be talking about our nose or the olfactory membrane which is in the nose. Then, the receptors which are on the skin, they are called tango receptors. So here we would be talking about receptors which help us detect pain, touch, pressure, etc. So these are on the skin. So we'll be talking about all those. Then, Georeceptors. Georeceptors are the ones which would help us uh, adjust ourselves to the gravity and that is why georeceptors. Now I'm writing a few more here. After this, there are certain receptors in case of fishes. These are known as electroreceptors. They would help in detection of some charge or current. Then there are some Rio receptors. 
rio receptors are required to detect change in water current so water current would be detected by these now here we have seen that all these receptors or sense organs are helping in detection of the stimuli which are coming from external or from the surrounding most of these receptors they are very close to the uh, surrounding that means they are normally on the outer side of the body so they are normally outer location wise we are talking about proprioceptor the second category they are located in tendons or ligaments these are basically nerve endings which are covered by tendons or ligaments so they can detect the internal changes also at the same time external also interoreceptors they would detect only internal stimuli and here we would take certain examples like statoreceptors statoreceptors would help in detection of change in position would help us in equilibrium so the part of inner ear which is responsible for this equilibrium posture management those are statoreceptors so here we would be talking about all those receptors which are in crista and macula part of the inner ear so they help in detection of or correction of posture and equilibrium so this is where they would help second baroreceptors baroreceptors are the ones which are responsible for helping us understand or detect the pressure change pressure change is detected by this and the pressure which we are talking about is mainly blood pressure so example like carotid bodies which detect change in blood pressure detect change in blood pressure so here they are called baroreceptors and third category are known as visceroreceptors these visceroreceptors as the name tells us they are in the visceral organs and they would detect pain or any kind of uh, change which is there in the visceral organs so they are in visceral organs and help us detect changes internal changes like if there is some kind of pain or any change which is taking place in the internal organs so this is the brief classification of all the receptors external proprio and internal receptor they would respond only to external stimuli they would respond only to internal stimuli and proprio receptors they are present in joints mainly because tendons and ligaments are in these region and they normally respond to internal stimuli but they can also respond to external stimuli and this is the classification which was given by sherrington and we would be studying about five receptors in detail of all five sense organs in detail we'll be talking about skin and how different uh, sense organs or sensory cells on our skin help in detection of various types of stimuli like pain pressure uh, some kind of a prick some kind of a gentle pressure all those things plus we would talk about the olfactory we will discuss eye complete structure of eye working and the corrections also we would also take gustato receptors and we would talk about ear so be all five sense organs their structure and functioning we would discuss in detail so this is the brief classification of all the receptors that we have